This past Sunday, we celebrated the third Sunday of Advent, which as many of you know, is always called Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete is a Latin word that means rejoice. And Gaudete Sunday marks the halfway point of our Advent season. So this week is a good time for us to think about joy. How joyful are we these days? Have we let the stress of trying to figure out how we are going to celebrate Christmas and still keep our family safe make us short-tempered and crabby? Have we forgotten the real meaning of this season? That we are celebrating the coming of Emmanuel, God with us. And that thought alone should bring us great joy and happiness. God is with us. As we think about joy and happiness this week, I want to read you a story today that I came across last week that made me stop and remember how easy it is to be happy. That was something my dad used to say a lot as I was growing up. He'd tell me, Pam, you know, it's so easy to be happy. And he was right. Here's the story that reminded me of that. A 92-year-old petite, well-poised and proud lady who is fully dressed each morning by eight o'clock with her hair smartly combed and makeup perfectly applied, even though she is legally blind, moved to a nursing home yesterday. Her husband of 70 years recently passed away making the move necessary. After many hours of waiting patiently in the lobby of the nursing home, she smiled sweetly when told her room was ready. As she maneuvered her walker to the elevator, the nurse walking with her provided a visual description of her tiny room, including the beautiful pink curtains that had been hung on her windows. I love it, she stated with the enthusiasm of an eight-year-old having just been presented with a new puppy. Mrs. Jones, the nurse said, you haven't seen the room, just wait. That doesn't have anything to do with it, she replied. Happiness is something you decide on ahead of time. Whether I like my room or not doesn't depend on how the furniture is arranged. It's how I arrange my mind. I already decided to love it. It's a decision I make every morning when I wake up. I have a choice. I can spend the day in bed recounting the difficulty I have with the parts of my body that no longer work or get out of bed and be thankful for the ones that do work. Each day is a gift. And as long as my eyes open, I'll focus on the new day and all the happy memories I've stored away just for this time in my life. She went on to explain, old age is like a bank account. You withdraw from what you put in. So my advice to you would be to deposit a lot of happiness in the bank account of memories. Thank you for your part in filling my memory bank. I am still depositing. And with a smile, she said, remember the five simple rules to be happy. First, free your heart from hatred. Second, free your mind from worries. Third, live simply. Fourth, give more. Fifth, expect less and enjoy every moment. I love that story and that little lady's advice are such great reminders for us during these last two weeks of Advent. Let's remember to choose happiness these days. No matter how different Christmas may be for us this year, even if we have to make some big sacrifices not to gather together with family so everyone stays healthy and safe, we can still choose to be happy. We can choose to make a sacrifice just this one Christmas for the well-being of everyone. 
It won't be easy, and this is definitely not going to be the way we want to celebrate Christmas. But for this year, we may just have to withdraw a little from our bank account of memories of past Christmas celebrations. And then we can take some time to reflect on all the love and joy we have shared in the past with family and friends during the Christmas season, knowing there will be another Christmas when we will be able to deposit instead of withdraw a lot of love and happiness into our bank account of memories. Let's work together during these last days of Advent to choose happiness, even when we know this Christmas is not going to be the way we want it to be, or even the way it should be. And most of all, let's never forget that no matter what, God is with us.